So I'm Bill Cunningham, Creative Investment Research. Want to find, congratulations on 30 years. Want to find out what you're doing with respect to fairness and equity uh, with respect to some of the investments. Let me say this lastly. You guys have danced around the issue of simple racial discrimination against the African continent uh, with respect to attitudes, misadjusted risk attitudes uh, concerning the continent. So I'd like you to address you those two. Thank take you. Take the floor. Yeah, I, I think this is um, it is a difficult um, question, and um, there is discrimination everywhere you know, one way or the other. Um, but, for example, the, the Compaq. Um, there are seven African countries now, and um, essentially what G20 is saying, it's let's get your fiscal and macros together. There's more money in the private sector than there is with the donors and multilaterals. Um, how do you um, prepare the bride? Um, to be able to attract um, foreign capital. And what we have done is that we've met amongst ourselves um, to create a peer learning group um, to then take charge of how we are going to attract this type of private capital. Um, and once the realization dawns, the private capital is much more than donors. Um, I think we then begin um, to change our matrices um, to be able to, to attract that. And, and I think the challenge is really, is really uh, up to us um, to, to move forward uh, in, in a new world that, that we are confronting. Um, and uh, good governance um, would help. Um, I think another key um, to maybe the issue of discrimination, it's now, I mean, I was back in Ghana 1990 and I've been there 25 years. Um, the color of the IFC office is so different. Um, so you then have decisions being taken uh, by Africans, and therefore if we are discriminating against ourselves, then you know, um, that's, that's our problem. Uh, but certainly there have been quantum changes um, in nature, color, caliber, etc. And we ourselves as diasporans are also beginning to go back to take charge um, of integrating uh, into um, the global infrastructure. Uh, because now, uh, when you come to the finance ministry, it's not just a politician, but somebody who's been on Wall Street before, uh, and the dialogue uh, then becomes more equal. Um, I suspect um, that really the, the sort of the African race, if, if we decide to co-lease and get a, um, and start, um, um, getting engaged in, in sort of recalibrating where Africa is. Um, we'll be doing a lot better. So it's, it's a very um, um, troubling question, uh, but it's an important question nonetheless, because at any point in time, we need to look at our systems, whether we've gotten too used to the way something happens, things have got into system, systematic, systematic and we don't realize it uh, and, then, and then change it. But I think if you cast your eye um, on the continent, you are beginning to see uh, a certain progress and a certain confidence um, to take the future into our own hands.